Guys, this is never a good idea. This is not compatible with this. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you the top five ways to cut this foil so that you can get to the cork underneath. Los Gates. Hey guys, I'm Baron Belts and I'm the Wine Missionary. Today I'm gonna to show you several different ways to remove the capsule off of your bottle of wine. Now, the key here is that there is actually a cork underneath this capsule. So sometimes you'll hear this piece right here referred to as a foil, other times as a capsule. Um, literally, this one is made of plastic, so foil really doesn't apply. But you'll see with wines that are maybe a little bit more expensive, it will be uh, foil finished. Either way, you still use the same methods to remove part of this or all of it so that you can get to the cork underneath. So the first method that I want to show you is first of all, you're going to take your uh, little knife that is a part of your bottle opener, your wine bottle opener. As you can see, this is just a classic, what I call a two-stage uh, wine bottle opener. And there is a little knife that is on the top right there. It's hidden just like that. And so you want to get everything closed up though. You just want to use this knife. The first method I'm going to show you is cutting at the top angle of this little lip. So you can see this lip right here, all right? One of the methods is to cut over the top down. Another method is to cut up at the lip. And I'll explain that as I go on. The first one I'm going to use is the top. So I'm going to start this way. You see how I'm holding this in my hand. I'm holding it firmly. And this uh, finger, my forefinger, is actually going to place pressure on the knife um, so that it keeps a steady pressure. So I'm literally going to take this and I'm gonna put it down at about a, I don't know, 60 degree angle or so. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the wine so that I can keep my hand still. Now guys, this is not the sommelier way to do this or the waiter way to do this at a hotel or restaurant. This is the Baron Belts way to do this at your house. A safe way <laughs> to do it in a way that doesn't need to impress. Again, you just need to get to the cork underneath. So, all right. I'm going to just hold this still, hold this firmly with my forefinger, like I mentioned, at about a 60 degree angle. And now I'm just going to start to turn the bottle of wine. And what this knife is doing right now is it's cutting. Now, I made one full rotation. Sometimes you may need to make a rotation and a half, even two rotations, to make sure that you've released this. But watch what happens. It just comes right off like that. So as you can see, it's a clean cut. Um, it operates also as a party hat for your party that you're gonna have. And as you can see right here, now you have direct access to the cork. That is the whole idea, right? Okay, second way. Second way is to come from underneath the lip. Now, different people do this for different reasons. I'll explain it after I make this cut. So in the same way that I just did before, I'm going to cut up from underneath this little lip right here that's uh, on basically every single wine bottle. So the same way, I'm gonna hold it firmly in my forefinger, the knife, and this way I can keep a steady pressure up, okay? Notice how I use my thumb on the other side of the bottle. See that? So I do that with the other way too. What you're gonna do is again, I'm gonna put the label like that so you can see it'll be about one rotation and I'm just gonna start turning like this. There we go. And then I'll just need to scrape up a little bit. And there you go. Now guys, this is a taller hat for your party. So this one works too. Now again, the key is you just wanna to get to this dude underneath. Now I'm gonna explain briefly, why is it that some people use one method over the other? One of the reasons is some people like this top uh, part of the lip because 
it actually helps to keep the wine from dripping. Um, this little sharp uh, edge on the capsule right here can keep some of the drippings and things like that from happening when you're pouring a bottle of wine. However, I don't prefer this method because what happens, especially when this is a foil top, is you can tend to get little pieces of foil that are just kind of loose and such, and that can actually get into your wine. And I just lost my hat. But um, that's the reason I don't like this method. I prefer personally, and this is the way I cut all of my bottles of wine, this method. It's actually, like I said, underneath the, the lip right here. It's completely out of the way. So your wine that's going into the glass is not going to come in contact um, with the capsule. The other thing is guys, these capsules have been like shipping all over the world and dust and all kinds of things of this nature. So anyway, there's number one, number two. Now, number three. Number three requires a gadget. So let's go with the gadget, all right? This is what's called a foil cutter. And these things are really cool. I'll, I'll uh, put a description below in the video to show you, uh, down there in the comments, to show you what brand this is and, and why I like this one. Um, it's Le Creuset. Uh, they make a lot of kitchen appliances and small appliances and things. But what you'll notice here is that there are actually four uh, little cylinders that are inside of this thing and what this does is these actually wrap around the top of the bottle and cut. And it really only takes about a quarter to a half turn cut most of the time to get this thing loose. But I'll show you how it works. So you'll notice how it kind of Pac-Man's a little bit like that. All you're gonna do is just put it over the top like this. Now you'll squeeze and you don't really need to turn the bottle in this case, you can just turn it, but I like that because it keeps it still and steady. Now you've gone all the way around and you should just be able to pull right up and it comes right off. Well, and I lost my other hat. See, it didn't work. Now you see why I don't prefer this method. So I'm gonna go one more time, guys, all right? But this time I'm gonna apply a little more pressure. So, like that. All right, now it came off. Now you see the hat right there of the capsule. Now you have a different size hat to wear at your party. Now I'm gonna show you the reason why I don't like this, this so much. Now, when I've been at big, big wine tastings where literally I have dozens and dozens of bottles to open, okay, this can really preserve your hand because it really gets tiring to do this with this method. Um, this is super helpful to get these things off and it doesn't require as much pressure, but if, if I can show you what's going on here, it's a little bit rougher cut around, as you can see, and it's not on top of the lip, nor is it under the lip. It's actually kind of right in the middle. So um, again, preference, these kinds of things. This isn't my favorite, but it works really well. It's effective, all right? So next one in line. Again, we're just trying to get to the cork underneath, right? This one is pretty simple. It doesn't always work because different capsules and foils can sometimes be attached to the bottle in some shape or form. But as you can see what I'm doing here, I'm just turning the capsule so that I know that it will loosen up for me, all right? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab the whole capsule with my hand like this. I'm gonna grab with this hand, and now what I'm gonna do is try to turn the capsule and pull the bottle down and this hand up at the same time and it should just release really easily. Bam, there you go. Super easy, isn't it? All right, now you may be asking, well, Baron, that was the easiest one that you did the whole time. Didn't even require a cutting device. Okay, I'm with you, but this bottle looks naked and I don't like that. This is part of the package, like with, the, with this thing. It'd be like going to a, cocktail dinner without your bow tie or something. This, you gotta have something here. So anyway, that, it's a cool method. It's easy, it's simple. Um, and it's one more way to get to the cork underneath. Okay, last and definitely least is the method sometimes, again, when the capsule doesn't so easily lift off, uh, some people like to use a knife in order to actually cut up the capsule and then be able to basically peel it off. So I'm gonna use this tool right here. 
Um, it, it's ridiculous. This is like a butcher knife, but uh, I have it out, so I got to use it, right? So what I'm going to do is you're going to hold the bottle away from you. Every action is going to be away from your body. So, so, so important to recognize this, all right? Now, what a lot of people will do is just start right there underneath the lip, right? And do you see how it's just starting to give way? And then you see how my finger's going up like this. That should be enough to peel it off. So essentially you get the same effect here. Like I said, sometimes capsules don't so easily remove. Some people like to go this direction, but again, I don't like the fact that there's really nothing that you have this knife against. There's no way to really leverage it well. Uh, and I, again, I just don't like the fact that the bottle looks naked to me without part of the foil on this thing. So guys, I hope this has been helpful. This is the thing. When you're using these little knives to cut, whether it's on the top or on the bottom, what you're going to find is it just takes a little bit of practice. So, um, I hope this has been helpful. If it has, we please give it a thumbs, thumbs up. We please subscribe to the channel. And please comment below, like, hey, Baron, I've got another method for getting under there. I'd love to hear from you. So uh, until next time, cheers.